to Morpheus Chair Extra, the program where you learn to build robots like these from your comfy chairs. A big shout out to all the people that have followed the series to thank you all. I've just created the Agent Smith Awards. Then this award will be given to the best posts, the best videos, the basically anything that we find interesting in our social media about Morpheus Chair. And the first award goes to Chris Messier. That he posted this picture here with a super radical um, Morpheus robot with an Ixion mounted on the top. Fantastic. Good work, Chris. This video is an extra video because we are going to show you a very neat feature of ROS Development Studio that you can connect your Morpheus robot or any real robot that you have basically access to very easily in a way that you can see ROS topics plug and play, basically. So, to the workbench! To the workbench! So here we are in our simulation in ROS Development Studio that we used for the development, the first steps for the line following script. So now we've updated the code with the code that we were using in the real robot and we're going to execute it in the simulation. So we can just execute the same code and as you can see it's following the line. As you can see also it doesn't perform as well as the original one so this could be a good opportunity to optimize it but we're not here to optimize and make the code better okay it's just to show you the the real connection but you would use the simulation to iterate and improve the the code yeah okay so once we have this code now what we want to do is to connect to the real robot and uh, access the systems through ROS Development Studio but not only that but we could execute this same um, script but with uh, obviously the, the colors changed because you can see that we are executing this one which the color is slightly different it's pure white in the simulation and in reality it won't be that color so bear that in mind so what we can do is execute the the code inside ROS Development Studio where we have a lot of processing power if we want but we we move the real robot so it's the best of both worlds because if we want to for example do deep learning with um, Raspberry Pi, it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. But we can do it if we if we use uh, ROS Development Studio because it's an external computer with infinite um, power. So let's see how we do this. So it's really simple. So we have uh, a notebook here that explains all the procedure. Basically, what we have to do is First, connect to the real robot through SSH, like always, and execute this um, tiny script, which essentially what it does is install everything that you need to this to work, and it gives a name, so the name that you want the device to give it, in this case. Yeah. So in this case, I've already done it. So I have, I've done SSH, I have two terminals, connected to the real robot and if I do for example tc hosts you see that I gave the name of Morpheus robot but in your case if you haven't done it yet what you ha would have to do is just execute this command inside the web shell inside the, the shell like that yeah okay yeah so once we have this and we have it all set up, then the next step is to make the real robot connection. 
So we go here, real robot and we robot network. We have it off, we turn it on. There you go. So now we have our instance, our system already connected there, but we don't have the robot. So we have to click on add device. So to add the device, it asks us two things, the device name and the URL. For that, we have to, one, do this in, in, the, in the system, in the real robot. As you can see, it asks it, you need pseudo privileges. So no one can do this without the, the password. So don't worry about security in that aspect. So you have this link. And on the other side, we have to give it the name. The name is this one that you gave in the setup. So we go here and we don't need this anymore. We go here, Morpheus Robot, and we copy paste this link. Copy. And we go here and create. Fantastic. So now we have uh, the system. So in theory, we have Morpheus Robots. So in theory, we should be able to ping a Morpheus Robot. So if we ping the Morpheus Robot, there you go. So now our system is connected to the real robot. Okay, but we can't see ROS topics. Why? Because there's no ROS master. So we have to select who is the ROS master. Yeah. The, the logical thing to do is to set the robot as master, but we could do it the other way around. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is kill this simulation. We don't need it anymore. And we set the robot as the Morpheus robot as the, the ROS master. Okay. So if we do ROS topic list, there's no master here. Okay. And if we go to the real robot, there's no master either. So the first thing we have to do is execute the bring up of our robot that will, will launch everything. Okay. All the systems that, you know, what we talked about. Okay. So there we go. Let's see if we have ROS topic now. There we go. Now we have ROS topics. And now here we see ROS topic. Let's have a look. There we go. So now our ROS development studio is connected directly to the real robot. So the next logical step is um, have a look uh, at the different systems. So for example, let's have a look to the cameras. Can we see the cameras? Let's have a look. So cross. There we go. Now we open our graphical tools here. There we go. Fantastic. So as you can see, we can now see what the real robot is seeing. And bear in mind that this could be done having the robot in China and me being in, I don't know, in United States. So bear that in mind. It doesn't matter if you're in a local Wi-Fi or whatever. It, it, has nothing to do with that. Okay. So now that we see that we have access to all the systems, now it's time to execute the line following algorithm, but from ROS Development Studio, which means that all the processing power needed in Raspberry Pi won't be used. It will be used in ROS Development Studio. Yeah. So let's have a look. Let me, there we go. So we have to start the follower, but the, the normal one. 
Yeah. So let me just check. Let me just check um, if the colors are the same. Uh, Morpheus, there you go. Notch and cat, and we're going to have a look at the line follower start. There we go. So this one's, I think it's the same because we, but we have to be sure about that. So this is the simulated version, uh, 150, 16, 74. I think it was that. Okay, perfect. So. Um, now we're going to launch it. So line follower, start. There we go. So now we are executing the line following algorithm through ROS Development Studio. And as you can, you can see, There you go. So now what you can see is that I'm executing the line following algorithm, but through ROS Development Studio. The Raspberry Pi, it's not executing this. This allows us to have infinite horsepower to do this. So it should go better or at least won't have any processing power problems. There you go. So you can see that is following the line perfectly absolutely perfectly so great news and in part is thanks to the fact that we are not using that much um, processing power of the Raspberry Pi and that lightens up a bit the processing for other stuff great It's all for this video. We'll see you again very, very soon in the next video series that the topic will be based on the results that you people voted for. So until then, keep building.